where would you hide if you look like that? Scientists in School has a very interesting history. It is a true success story of a grassroots organization that was community-based, began in 1989. Today we are a leading uh, charitable organization. How about this one? <laughs> Typically in uh, scientists in school, the children are the scientists. So although there's a role model and a scientist or a science expert coming into their classroom, um, the name of the organization really reflects the fact that scientists question intelligently, they learn by discovery, and in all of our workshops it's very, very hands-on. So I would describe it much like a field trip that comes to the classroom. <laughs> An organization with about 400 presenters now um, who come from all walks of science and engineering. Uh, so the students might meet an ecologist in grade two or a field biologist in grade four. So by the time that they get into, into high school, they'll have come across many positive role models. And then he comes out of the cocoon as an adult moth. Today's program is really fun. It's called Never Say Ugg to a Bug, and uh, the, the, the class today is grade two, so all the workshops are, are geared to the, the grade level. Uh, it's really to create that wonder um, for all children of uh, the world that's around them. When they become a scientist, they begin to, to look closely, use tools that scientists use, like microscopes and magnifying glasses, and begin to, uh, to really understand the differences between species of insects and uh, the roles of insects. Look, he's close. He won't hurt you. And have a look at his wings. Put your hand up. Good job, Sunny. Gives the children sort of a hands-on approach to what we're learning, and a lot of these children don't have those everyday experiences. So to bring you know those outside experiences to the classroom is just rich in itself. They actually can relate it back to something that's authentic to them. It really just sort of enriches their learning and allows them to. Uh, dig deeper and ask more questions. What do you see? The kids say things like, uh, I, you know, I don't want to vote for recess, or, uh, you know, we hear from parents whose children come home, and, and uh, that's the whole topic of the dinner hour, and then they continue to do science at home. Do you have your magnifying glasses? Yeah. It feels great when they move in my hand. My favorite part is like holding the toad and packing the toad. They feel like smooth and it's not really yucky but it's really nice. We saw the water, the giant water beetle and then it jumped out and then it crawled around and then it flipped over and then it got back uh, up. I like the part when I touched the caterpillars and I touched the toad and the toad went off of Miss Janet's hand. I learned that um, tarantulas could be really scary when you look at their eyes and body very close. I learned about how those insects protect themselves from those people who were eaten. And I learned about bugs that are, that are very cool. Scientists in the school is fun. <laughs>